हाई लर्नर आई एम गुरुदेव सिंह राणा असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटर आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी डिस्ट्रिक्ट नैनीताल सो लर्नर इन दिस लेक्चर यू विल कंटिन्यू टू लर्न अबाउट जे ऑब्जेक्ट क्लासेस यू विल लर्न अबाउट स्टेटमेंट क्लास प्रिपेड स्टेटमेंट क्लास कॉलेबल स्टेटमेंट क्लास रिजल्ट सेट क्लास और इंटरफेस यू विल लर्न अबाउट कॉमन मैथड्स ऑफ ऑल दीज क्लासेस एंड इंटरफेसेस लर्नर इन लास्ट लेक्चर यू लर्न अबाउट जे डी वी सी क्लासेज एंड इंटरफेसेज एंड यू लर्न अबाउट ड्राइवर मैनेजर क्लास एंड इट्स कॉमन यूज मैथड एंड आल्सो लर्न अबाउट कनेक्शन इंटरफेस और क्लास ऑफ जे डी वी सी एंड कॉमन यूज मैथड ऑफ कनेक्शन क्लास इन दिस स्लाइड यू विल लर्न अबाउट स्टेटमेंट क्लास और इंटरफेस एंड इट्स कॉमन यूज मैथड वंस ए कनेक्शन इज इस्टेब्लिश्ड वी कैन इंटरेक्ट विद डेटा वेज द जे डी बी सी स्टेटमेंट कॉलेबल स्टेटमेंट एंड ए प्रिपेड स्टेटमेंट इंटरफेस डिफाइन द मैथड्स एंड प्रॉपर्टीज दैट इनेबल्स यू टू सेंड एस क्यू एल और पी एल वाई एस क्यू एल कमांड्स एंड रिसीव डेटा फ्रॉम योर डेटा बेस दे आल्सो डिफाइन मैथड्स दैट हेल्प ब्रिज डेटा टाइप differences between java and sql data types used in a database the following table provide a summary of each interface purpose to decide on a interface to use so first one is statement class or interface represent a static sql statement using the statement object and its method you can execute an sql statement and get the result of it we use this for general purpose access to your database it is useful when you are using a static sql statement at run time the statement interface cannot accept parameters it provides methods like execute execute batch and execute update etc now second one is prepared statement class or interface this represent a pre compiled sql statement an sql statement statement is compiled and stored in a prepared statement and you can later execute this multiple times you can get an object of this interface using the method of connection interface named prepare statement this provide methods such as execute query execute update and execute to execute the prepare statement and get any data type set any data type where this data type such as long int float string etc and this method is set and get of values of the uh, bind variables of the prepared statement we use this when we plan to use the sql statement many times the prepared statement interface accept input parameter at run time this provide method such as execute query and using an object of this interface you can execute the stored processor this return single or multiple results it will accept input parameter too you can create a callable statement using the prepare call method of the connection uh, interface just like prepare statement this will also provide set methods and get methods to pass the input parameters and to get the output parameters of the process or of the processors we use this when we want to access the database stored processor the callable statement interface can also accept runtime input parameters i am sure you will know about stored processor now in this slide you will learn how to come create object of statement prepare statement and callable statement we also learned about method of these classes so here first you will you will learn about create statement class before you can use a statement object to execute sql statement you need to create one 
using connection object create statement method as in the following example so here is code snippet statement statement is equal to null declare object of statement and statement is equal to connection object dot create statement this line create object of statement and here we are using cache block if there is any exception in database side once you create a statement object you can then use it to execute an sql statement with one of these three execute methods first one is public boolean execute method and it require a string uh, as sql statement and this method will return a boolean value uh, of true if a result set object can be retrieved otherwise it return false use this method to execute sql ddl statement or when you need to use truly dynamic sql second one is int execute update string sql this method will return the number of rows affected by the execution of the sql statement uh, by using this method to execute sql statements for which you expect to get a number of rows affected for example an insert update delete statement third one is result set execute query and you pass a string uh, as well as a string uh, this method will return a result set object you can use this method when you expect to get a result set as you do with a select statement so learner these are three methods that you can run with the statement object i hope you understand these three methods very well now after executing the methods you need to close the statement object just as you close a connection object to save database resources for the same reason you should also close the statement object a simple call to close method will do the job if you close the connection object first it will close the statement object as well however you should always explicitly close the statement object to ensure proper clean up clean up now next is prepared statement object the prepared statement interface extend the statement interface which gives you added functionality with a couple of advantages over a generic statement object this statement give you the flexibility of supplying argument dynamically prepare statement and we are declaring uh, the variable of prepare statement and initially we define this as null and in try block we are using uh, we are taking an string sql uh, there is an update query uh, update implies set age is equal to something and where id is equal to something so in prepare statement variable we are using connection dot prepare statement and we are passing sql as a parameter here conn is connection object and this line create object of prepared statement and in catch block uh, there is sql exception and this will uh, return if there is any exception uh, cached uh, in the database set all of the statement objects methods for interacting with the database are execute exit query and execute update also work with the prepared statement object however the methods are modified to use sql statement that can take input or we can say we are, we need to pass parameter in this method so in prepared statement object method you need to pass input parameters or you can say prepare statement uses overloading methods similarly like any statement object just uh, you close the statement object for the same reason you should also close the prepared statement object a simple call to the close method will do this job if you close the connection object first you will close the prepared statement object as well uh however you should always explicitly close the prepare statement object to ensure proper cleanup <clears throat> now next is callable statement object just as an 
as a connection object creates the statement and previous statement uh, object it also create the callable statement object which would be used to execute a call to the database stored processor prepare call method of connection class is used to create object of class statement based on the preceding stored processor here this code is snipped call a statement and we are uh, declaring a variable cstmt and initially we define this as null and first we declare call a statement and cstm is a variable type of callable statement now in try block we are now uh, using a string sql is equal to call get employee name and we are passing some parameters here get emp name is a stored processor name after that we are using connection dot prepare call and we are passing sql as a parameter so sql is a parameter sql parameter is contain uh, the stored processor name so when it get execute it create object of uh, callable statement and in cache block we are using sql exception it is used when is there is any exception found in database it will catch that exception once you call the stored processor you retrieve the value from the output parameter with the appropriate get method this method cast the uh, retrieve value of sql type to a java type java data type just as you close other statement object for the same reason you should also close the callable statement object a simple call to the close method will be uh, will do this job if you close the connection objects first it will close the callable statement object as well you should always explicitly close the callable statement object to ensure proper clean up so learner now in this slide you will learn about result set the sql statements that read data from database query return data in a result set the select statement is the standard way to select rows from a database and view them in result set the java dot sql dot result set interface represent the result set of database query a result set object maintain a cursor that points to the current row in the result set the term result set refer to the row and column data contained in a result set object learner result set interface contain lot of methods and the methods of result set interface can be broken down into three categories first one is navigational methods these method are used to move the cursor around next is get methods these methods are used to view the data in the columns of the current row being pointed by the cursor and last one is update methods these methods are used to update the data in the columns of the current row the updates can then be updated in then underlying database as well the cursor is movable based on the property of result set and these property are designated when the corresponding statement that generate the result set is created in this slide learner you will learn about various method of result set interface on the basis of category you learned in the previous slide so first one is navigational result set these are several methods in the result set interface that involves moving the cursor first one is public void before first this method moves the cursor just before the first row second one is public void after last and this method moves the cursor just after the last row third one is public boolean first this method moves the cursor to the first row public fourth one is public void last this method moves the cursor to the last row next one is public boolean previous as this as the name this method moves the cursor to the previous row and this method return false if previous row is of the result set next one is public boolean next this method moves the cursor to the next row and this method return false if there are no 
more rows in the result set Pu uh, next one is public int get row this method returns the row number that the cursor is pointing to now next category is get methods or viewing a result set so learner uh, in this slide uh, you will learn about get methods or how to view result set the result set interface contains dozen of methods for getting the data of the current row there is a get method for each of the possible data types and each get method has two version one that takes column name as a parameter and another one is that takes column index as a parameter for example if the column you are interested in viewing contains an int you need to use one of one of the get int methods of result set first one is public int get int and we are passing a string uh, column uh, call one as a string this method return integer in the current row in the column name call call one second one is public int get int and int and we are passing three as column index this return three in the current row in the specified column index three similarly there are get met get methods in the result set interface for each of eight java primitive types as well as common types such as java dot lang dot string java dot lang dot object java dot net dot url and there are also methods for getting sql data types like uh date uh, date time uh, time stamp club and blob now last one is updating result set in this slide you will learn about updating method the result set interface or class contain a collection of update methods for updating the data of a result set as with the get methods there are two update method for each data type one that takes column name as a parameter and another one is that takes column index as a parameter for example to update a string column or the current row of a result set you would use one of the following update string method first one is public void update string int column index and we are passing string s this method change the string in the specified column to the value of s second one is public void update string string column name and string s in this matter similar to the previous method except that the column is specified by its name instead of its index and there are update methods for the eight primitive data types as well as a string object url and the sql data types in the java.sql. package updating a row in the result set change the columns of current row in the result set object but not in the underlying database to update your change to the row in the database you need to invoke one of the following method methods first one is public why update row update the current row by updating the corresponding row in the database second is public why delete row this method is used to delete the current row from the database third one is public void refresh row this method refreshes the data in the result set to reflect any recent changes in the database fourth one is public void cancel row updates this method cancel any updates made on the current row next one is public void insert row this method is used to insert a row into the database and this method can only be invoked when the cursor is pointing to the insert row so learner i hope you understand about the interfaces and classes of the jdbc in next lecture you will learn about java servlet implementation and tomcat server installation in detail thank you